Okay, so reactions of benzene. We're going to do two reactions, okay? So the first one we're going to do is the halogenation. The halogenation of benzene is the first reaction. The halogenation of benzene. So what we're going to be talking about is benzene, C6H6, plus bromine. Okay, so now first, um, let's do a bit of revision first. So if we take cyclohexene, which is an alkene, and react that with bromine, so that's an alkene cyclohexene, and react that with bromine, what happens? Remember bromine, bromine water, it's an orange color, and then you get the overall chemical equation you would get uh, the carbon-carbon double bond would break and you'd get one product, that product is called, in this case, it's 1,2-dibromo, 1,2-dibromocyclohexane, because it's not, it's not an alkene anymore. Okay, so just remember what happens here, the mechanism. When you take an alkene and bromine, the bromine molecule comes near the pi bond, at the localized pi bond, the bromine molecule becomes polarized. That means it gets a dipole. Because the pi, the pi bond is sticking out, a pair of electrons sticking out, it makes the electrons in the bromine molecule all kind of get repelled and go to the other end of the molecule and it becomes polarized and the pi electrons the two pi electrons remember what a curly arrow a curly arrow represents the movement of a pair of electrons to uh, form or uh, break a covalent bond and that's the first step and then you get an intermediate so we've formed a two pi, uh, two electrons have formed a bond with bromine. This carbon's got a positive charge. This Br here, this Br, that bond breaks and both electrons go onto the Br. So it's Br minus, it gets its electron back and the other electron too. So it's got two electrons and then they come in attack the positive carbon with a positive charge and you get the product 1,2-dibromocyclohexane and that's called an electrophilic addition reaction electrophilic addition, you did this for AS the bromine is an electrophile um, which means it's an electron pair acceptor electron pair, so electrophile, electro, electron pair acceptor and it's called an addition reaction because two things are adding together to give you the one item. Now uh, when we look at the reaction of benzene and bromine, okay, benzene does not undergo addition reactions because it would mean that the benzene, the very stable benzene ring um, would break if it went undergo underwent um, addition reactions. And with benzene, when you have benzene and the bromine molecule approaches, the bromine molecule approaches, the bromine is not polarized like it is in the uh, with an alkene. The bromine is not polarized. And this is because benzene has a lower pi electron density than an alkene, okay, than an alkene. And this is because the pi electrons, the six pi electrons, the six pi electrons are um, delocalized in benzene, are delocalized are shared amongst the, um, spread out, shared amongst the six carbons. Whereas in an in a alkene, they are localized, they're concentrated. Whereas in benzene, they are spread out. 
So this step does not happen, but benzene can react with bromine, but you need a catalyst. Okay, so let's have a look. So if we have a catalyst, the first we'll do, we'll do the um, chemical equation first. Okay, we'll do the chemical equation first. The chemical equation. Benzene and bromine. Okay, you need, it's not bromine water, it's bromine and you need a catalyst and that is usually FeBr3. Can be, can be Fe as well, but it's usually FeBr3. Okay, and what we're going to do, we're going to do the mechanism at the same time. We're going to do the, cat, we're going to do the equation and the mechanism showing the movement of the pair of electrons um, at the same time. Okay, so the first step that happens is the bromine reacts with the catalyst to form an intermediate and it forms a positive ion. Okay, and can you see what's going to else is going to happen? If that's a positive ion, it's going to be Fe Br4 minus. Okay, this catalyst is called a halogen carrier because it carries the halogen, it holds onto the halogen and carries it, the Br, the Br minus. And that's the first step that happens. Okay, so now benzene will react with a positive charge. It just can't polarize, it just can't polarize the bromine, but when it's an actual positive charge, it will react a positive ion. Okay, and the mechanism from the ring, two pi electrons, two pi electrons move out from the ring and attack the, uh, bro, uh, the bromine ion, the positive bromine ion. And this generates an intermediate. So the ring breaks and forms a partial ring on all the carbons, one, two, three, four, five, but not this carbon. Because don't forget, don't forget there's a H there. The H and then the, the two pi electrons have moved out and have formed a bond with a bromine, okay? So this carbon here, this carbon there has got uh, four covalent bonds, so it's fully uh, got all its bonds, okay? And um, can you see you've got a Br plus here, this overall positive charge. The positive charge is now on the uh, partial ring, okay? Because how many pi electrons are in this partial ring? There are four pi electrons, and they are shared between how many carbon atoms? Shared between five carbons. So can you see that is one short, so that's why it's got a positive charge. And that's the intermediate. And then the next step is the two electrons in the CH bond. From the middle of the bond, the two electrons come back in and reform the pi ring. It's a very stable pi ring. But now you've got the Br there and uh, you've got a H plus because you've regenerated H plus. Can you see here you've got a plus charge, here you've got a plus charge, here you've got a plus charge. But just make sure you always got that plus charge. Okay, this is called bromobenzene, all one word, bromobenzene. Okay, and the type of reaction, this is an electrophile, electron pair um, acceptor, and this is not addition, the hydrogen has been replaced by the bromine, so this is electrophilic, make sure it's only got one L there, electrophilic substitution because the hydrogen has been substituted, replaced with the bromine. And that's the type of reaction that benzene undergoes. It does not undergo addition because the benzene ring is too stable and a lot of energy is needed to break the benzene ring and uh, the benzene ring does not polarize uh, sufficiently the, the molecule. 
So let's just go back to the overall chemical equation. We get bromobenzene. Doesn't matter which uh, carbon atom you put the bromine on. But what's the other product going to be here? Okay, it's going to be HBr. Right? So, but let's look back over here. So we did the first step, we generated the, the ion. Then we did the mechanism joining them together. And then we've got H plus here and FeBr4 minus. So the last step is to regenerate the catalyst. H plus plus FeBr4 minus is um, going to be to regenerate the catalyst, HBr and FeBr3 to regenerate the halogen carrier. If you were using um, Cl2, you would use the catalyst um, FeCl3, Fe, or, or you can also use as aluminium chloride, you could use as well, okay, if you're using loose chlorine. Okay, here's an extension question for you then, right? So building up from that, what if, what if, right, we talk, this is extension, what if we take benzene, okay, and we want to form methyl benzene? Methyl benzene, okay? What would be the reagent? What would be the catalyst? What would be the other product? Okay, this is called the Friedel Crafts reaction. And can you work it out? Pause the video for a second and see if you can work out what the other product is going to be. Okay, so we need methyl, we need methyl here. Okay, we need methyl to be substituted onto the benzene ring, right? So we need the ion to be that, uh, the positive uh, ion there. So therefore it goes from the ring to the intermediate, all the carbons except the carbon that's joined to the methyl and then take off the H, bring the electrons back in, methyl benzene plus H plus. So we need the positive part to be CH3 plus. So therefore we need this to be CH3 Br or, or Cl and therefore the catalyst to be Fe Br3 because the first step would be the generation of the iron. The first step would be the um, uh, bromo um, methane and the catalyst and it would form the iron CH3 plus and FeBr4 minus. And then the last step is when they would come back together again to regenerate the catalyst, HBr plus FeBr3. Okay, so the other product would be HBr. You could use HCl, you could have Cl as well. So that's a bromination of benzene. Okay, finally, the last reaction I'm going to do is a nitration. Is a nitration of benzene. Okay, so the final reaction is a nitration of benzene. Okay, so the nitration of benzene. Just two reactions. The nitration of benzene. So, the chemical equation first. The overall chemical equation first. Benzene, okay, C6H6, there's one hydrogen on each carbon, plus nitric acid, and that's concentrated nitric acid, plus a catalyst, concentrated sulfuric acid, and that's why we're writing it on the arrow, because it's a catalyst. Temperature, 50 degrees. Product, electrophilic substitution, a H is replaced with an NO2 called a nitro, that's called a nitro group, a nitro group, okay? Um, it doesn't matter which carbon you put it on, the, uh, the nitro group, and that's called nitro, nitro benzene, plus the other product, can you see what the other product's going to be? It's water, okay, so that's the overall chemical equation. And it happens in steps, the mechanism, the mechanism.
Okay, the first step is you need to generate the iron. And we take the concentrated sulfuric acid, the concentrated nitric acid, and you put them together. And the iron is called the nitronium iron, NO2 plus. The nit whoops, nitronium iron plus HSO4 minus, you've got to have a minus as well, plus water. And that's the first step. Now we've got the nitronium ion. Okay, you should be quite good at this mechanism now. Positive ion from the benzene ring, the pi electrons move out, forms an intermediate. All the carbons except that carbon, NO2, don't forget your positive charge, close up the benzene ring, and you've got nitrobenzene. Plus, do not forget H plus. This has got no electrons at H. Okay, so we've got positive charge, positive charge, positive charge at each step. Last thing, do not forget to regenerate the catalyst, H plus, plus the HSO4 minus will regenerate the catalyst. Okay, the nitration of benzene. You have to be really careful in this reaction that you don't get multiple substitutions. Substitutions. Okay, if you started with methyl benzene, okay, methyl benzene, the old name for methyl benzene is toluene. The old name for, the old name for methyl benzene. And if you've got multiple substitutions and NO2 replace the hydrogen at several spots, okay, that is called tri trinitrotoluene, trinitrotoluene, or T N T for short which we know is an explosive. So when you're doing ex this experiment in the lab, you don't actually use uh, 50 degrees. That's what you've, that's, you've got to write that for the exam questions. But when we do it in the lab, we use a temperature of below 10 degrees because we do not want to form a chemical like TNT, for example.